Hi, um, I'm in the midst of a book, so I've got to reach and get it. Back in, it goes digital, doesn't it, or does it? I, it may not. But uh, I'm slowly going through this book. Uh, some books I race through, some books I, you know, you take your time through, and I'm going through and taking some quotes out of this and doing some tweets. Uh, when I heard about the book, it was on NPR, I think, the uh, radio station that, you know, actually has free speech on it. Hmm, what a rarity in America. But uh, the book was, is called uh, Will War Ever End by Captain Paul Chappelle. And apparently uh, Captain Chappelle is a, a mixed race baby, which I mean, it's getting up in the world, more and more people becoming that. Uh, and is writing about this thing called unconditional love. And it's the way to get to world peace. And he is the second soldier that I've talked to who has told me this. I think I told you this story, but after the Twin Towers, uh, one of my client's dads, uh, she told me, was a German NATO general. And I called him because I wanted some perspective. And he said, we stand, Mr. Bush stands with the possibility of, of going to peace, a world peace, if he can embrace unconditional love. And I thought it was an odd position for a NATO officer. But then I read this book, and, it, and this guy says the same thing. Right? I, I believe in it. I think it's possible, and I know that that's the way there. Uh, unconditional love is how we come onto the planet. It's one of the things that we experience as we, when we come onto the planet. We learn how not to experience it. We learn how to judge people. We learn how... Now, some of these things we have to do, okay? Be real clear. Judgment, I think we have to have. I know that we have to have, because if I can't judge the speed of a car coming at me, I'm not even going to do these videos, because I'm going to be dead. Okay? But... Uh, at any rate, uh, these these army officers are saying, let's run on unconditional love. Well, what you have to do is you have to make a distinction. You have to see how to get there. You have to look at what you've been enculturated to, what you've learned, which learned is hatred, bigotry, right? Because babies don't know anger or hatred or bigotry. I was working in D.C., uh, working with a group of mostly brown people, a lot browner than me, and really neat people. And one of the dads, I, I had talked about this, about kids not knowing how to make a distinction. They just don't. And he said, yeah, my kids don't make a distinction between the Muslim kids and the black kids. They just, they're, they're friends. They, they don't know how to do that yet. And unfortunately, they'll probably learn how not to. But the point of this is, I talked to you about uh, peace one day last week. I'm talking about uh, will war ever end? And then I want to talk to you about uh, Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning is the young private who uh, was accused of, okay, uh, being the WikiLeaks provider. He's spent uh, a long time in solitary confinement. They've got a, a uh, hearing coming up on March 15th. And there's a website you can go to. I'm sorry I don't have it, but if you type in Bradley Manning, you can go there and you can support this kid and tell him, you know, what they're doing is wrong and evil and torturous. And uh, maybe move us a little more towards peace by getting information sharing and people out of torturous situations. www.micpeakperformance.com